and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Bant midrange. That's right, we have a new donation deck to try out. So this deck is going to be very similar to the Bant uh, Vanifar deck that we played the other day. Uh, you know, like that was like our, our elemental Vanifar deck that was pretty sweet with uh, Neoform and Vanifar where we're trying to get like as many Risen Reefs as possible in play and just overwhelm our opponent. This deck was made by the same person that made that deck that uh, was kind of changing it up. And instead of going with Vanifar and Neoform, we're going more more uh, Planeswalkers and Finales instead. So, we, you know, we're still doing our Risen Reef stuff. But now we have Champion of the Wilds, Time Raveler, you know, two very good three-mana Planeswalkers, and Arcbow Ranger, also another great Planeswalker. So, you know, like, we can we can just out... We can uh, grind a little better with the, uh, the Planeswalkers there. And we got a couple of these Finales. So if we have a whole bunch of mana, thanks to Risen Reef, we have some Finale of Glories. Ever cast this thing for X is 10, if your opponent doesn't have a Sweeper, the game's over, <laughs> basically. Um... And then we have uh, the Finale of Devastation. Same kind of thing, but uh, also, uh, you know, just, just casting this uh, to grab Risen Reef is pretty sweet also. The Time Raveler does give both those sorceries instant... You can cast both those sorceries at instant speed, which is pretty cool. Um, but that's what we have. So how do we get to Finale Mana without Nyssa? Basically Risen Reef. You know, like Risen Reef gets a lot of extra lands. Like we play Risen Reef, we play like these other elementals. Which I guess we don't have very many elementals in this deck. We got the Leafkin Druids and the Cavaliers to kind of go with it. But that's our that's our way to get a lot a lot of mana is Risen Reef triggers. Um, so yeah, we'll see if, we'll see how good this deck is. I really really liked the Vanifar Neoform version earlier, so this this deck has a high bar to live up to. Um, I think the main way that we're going to be winning games, though, I mean, that's like like the cool things that we can be doing. The main thing that we're going to be doing is this is really at, at its core. This is an Oketra deck, if you really think about it. This is a deck like where we're trying, you know, like we're kind of ramping with all these mana creatures. We're ramping into Oketra, and we still have a good amount of other creatures to play uh, after we have our Oketra in play. And, and Oketra is going to be a big part of our deck here. Um but there we go. Let's let's give this a try. I like how we got the three deputy detentions. Like that's our main way of getting rid of those zombie tokens against escape shift decks for that kind of matchup. All right, donation decks. Take it on over to our queue. Let's pay our thousand gold. Choose our fighter. Choose our deck. And here we go. So yeah, team fight tactics. Is that is that game for the Switch? I don't know much about it. I just know y'all talk about it sometimes. What's up, Breaker Snap? League of Legends Auto Chess. Saying that the deck is, or saying that the game is League of Legends Auto Chess to a lot of people probably um probably mean something but not so much to me i i don't know i honestly have no idea what the term auto chess means i have heard people say that term but i don't know what it is it's pc yeah i don't like pc games besides match the gathering of course what do we got going on over here I'm supposed to Deputy of Detention, a Rhythm of the Wild? Probably not. Yeah, that's what it does. Yeah, it sounds like it's like checkers or something. I don't know. I, I have played Slay the Spire. I like Slay the Spire. I got that, like, uh, Boot, Boot was over here showed me that one. I have that on the Switch. Slay the Spire is pretty sweet. You place units on the map, kind of like chess. Each has its ability and uses uses, and you can get bonuses for getting multiples of the same keyword and stuff. It 
This has to be a Niv Misery Born deck, right? Has to be Niv Misery Born. I do wish we had more elementals in our deck. I don't think we have enough. This could end up being the wrong call taking the Chromatic Lantern. Instead of the Rhythm of the Wild. But yeah, I'm thinking this is Nim Misery Born, and I want to, you know, cut them off of now blue mana. And. Whoa. Let's make this we're Awakening Infernos these days? That's what we're, that's what we're doing? I've got a burning desire to finish you. I don't know what's next for me. Yeah, so I, I probably would like that kind of that kind of deck, or sorry, that kind of game. What? The undead make. All right, so this is not a Liliana deck. All right, so we we learned this is not a Liliana deck. Or, I'm saying Liliana. Sorry, I'm I'm meaning to say Niv Mizzet. Sorry, this is not a Niv Mizzet deck. I will rise again. Because they're playing, you know, like these are not multicolor things. So I I don't think this is Niv Mizzet. Sorry, I was saying the wrong thing. Yeah, Ketra's good, especially with haste. Oh, they're just giving it. It's just five five color mythics. Our opponent's doing what we, what we want to be doing with like the Oketra and then mana creatures. That's that's what we want to be doing. Cavalier of Thorns is a good draw. So now we have finality for six. My mission is more valuable than your life. It doesn't like exile, does it? Help is easy to find in war. That looks pretty cool. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. Yeah. Five color mythics. I guess looking like four color. Four color mythics. Watch out. They bite. Looks pretty sweet so far. Let's 
Let's tear this place apart. Strike now! Strike hard! Oh, wait. Uh, I could have flashed that in. Oh, well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we need to gain three mana by next turn. Are you kidding me? Seriously? I can't beat that. Just make this Oketra, give the Oketra Trample? Can't have Trample Oketra. What is this? So just 15 Trample? I'm just dead. That's 15 Trample there. Yeah, I'm just actually I'm just actually dead. Um. Yeah, I'm taking lethal. Mm. Alright, so I think we want a Mortal Sun. I'm fine taking out these these things. Maybe negates, maybe not. Probably some settles. Dawnbringer just kind of chill and do something. We didn't see any removal except for the Planeswalkers, right? Play some Deputies. Alright, maybe not Dawnbringer. I don't think I was like that scared of... I don't think I'm really that scared of Rhythm of the Wild. I don't think I need to play like Night of Autumn for Rhythm of the Wild. Good card. That's a good card. I am kind of worried about our card advantage with this deck. A little bit. Not sure we have enough ways to get Risen Reefs out here. All right, so we want to draw the Immortal Sun. That's our best draw. The card we want to see. Not more lands. There's only 24 lands in this deck. Our, our deck's actually a little land light, to be honest. Um, which is kind of good, because we have all the mana creatures and stuff. And not like a huge curve or anything. I actually, actually like, I like our lands, but or I like the number of lands that we're playing. But what I'm saying is that it's not very likely for us to have seven lands in 12 cards at all. 
So like we we really shouldn't be drawing lands again for a little bit. I mean we are there's 17 lands in the 48 cards left. Like we really should be drawing two or three spells for every land from now on. Hey, Kronk Slayer. Or we just draw four lands in a row, you know? Or that happens too. If y'all missed it, we got to, like, the sub goal that we hit today was our 20th sub goal since our last 12 hour stream. So that means it's going to be another 12 hour stream time. I'm going to be doing it on Wednesday. That's when we'll be doing that from noon to midnight. You drew 11 lands and 24 cards in a 20 land deck today. <laughs> yep. It's your arena, de don't care. Dude, four color mythics. It's just crushing. Sahili minus two to a legendary creature, you will have to choose which one of the legendary creatures you'd like to keep. There we go. Now we're going. BC Tally getting to us that Twitch Prime. Sub hype and luck there. Uh, Risen Reef was is our best card to drop, but we didn't get. Weren't weren't able to, to chain Risen Reef into like another Risen Reef or another creature or anything. But still, we got rid of a, a land. Ooh, boy. Hey, what's up, Sly Guy? Uh, I had a schedule change, but yeah, I still keep up with all the YouTube videos. Thanks for keeping up with all this, Sly Guy. I really appreciate that. All right, well. This is a calamity right here. I don't think I should have saved the elemental from the turn before because we have Oketra. If we didn't have Oketra, we could have saved it. I've always found this card pretty easy to, or like this this card's like not a hard one to, to type. Like whenever you're, if you're like typing out like any of these like card names, because it lets you know exactly where to put Zakama. Which is very kind of the card. If you don't know punctuation. <laughs> uh, but it does kill all of our cool creatures, though. I'm not going to concede. I'm going to let my opponent play some more cool stuff. See what else they got over there. Their cards look a lot more powerful than our cards, though. <laughs> yeah, a finale. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We could finale for 13. So yeah, I guess we need we need a finale here. If we're not dead, that is. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just dead if my opponent would just attack out. Uh, no, we can't we can't play this and finale for.
Darn. Yeah, our opponent's just having fun. Oh yeah, lifelink. Yeah, let's give let's give these creatures lifelink. Why not? That's a that's a good card to put in the deck. Got to have these creatures. Got to have lifelink. Good call. Just seeing how small our opponent's creatures can get. <laughs> they have so many on the board, and they they haven't gone with the 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 two row approach. I guess because like the enchantments and stuff. These things are tiny. Look at how small these little guys are. Look at that little Ilharg. He's so cute. Pinch him. Pinch. Oh no, we need to be playing our opponent's deck. Their average CMC probably isn't that high. They got a lot of mana creatures and lands, but it's it's certainly not not high. The weak feed the Another land. This would have been a good time for a finale. So if we would have, oh, love it. There's there's a nickel bolus in here too. Why not? Let's get that in here. Throughout the multiverse. My if we would have drawn a finale, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We would have made 14 2 twos and 14 4 4 flyers. Hey, there's a Vona. That's a mythic. Get it in there. Just haste Vona. So you can just activate immediately. Destroy stuff right away. I, I don't want my opponent to kill me. They're just playing too many cool things. Stop attacking. I mean, I've I've been so dead for the longest time. If they attack, oh darn, they're actually attacking. He's Ellis. Oh man, dude, Ronus. Oh yeah, what if they played Ronus and and swung for twelve thousand? Yeah, that would be pretty nice. Oh, what they're putting in Ronus off Ilharg? Ronus, Ronus. Moldratha, that's not a Ronus. There's a 9-9 Moldratha, though. So that's a 9-9 Trampler. That thing has Trample. These all have Trample. It's a lot of damage. Which I don't think I need to block it, though. I think Vivian can take it. Is it exact lethal? Exact lethal. I really hope my opponent has at least one, but I really hope they have um, a Kamal's Druidic Vow in there. With just so many sweet legendary creatures and planeswalkers and everything, I really hope they add it like a Kamal's Druidic Vow just to, to you know, play that and put a whole bunch of really sweet things into play. That would be cool. It's 89 to negative 61. Close game, close game. Ugh. I really don't want to mulligan a hand with Double Risen Reef. It's our best card. But we have to. Okay. Well, we're keeping this. I think the dep yeah, we're gonna get rid of the deputy. Could get rid of Arcbow Ranger. I guess if I get rid of Deputy, the the Arcbow Ranger, we don't really have big creatures to like minus and kill anything, actually. I mean I love me some Arcbow Ranger, but that's we should probably get rid of it.
Yeah, that was a <laughs> that was a pretty sweet deck our opponent had there. All right, good draw. We get to play Risen Reef first before the Leafkin Druids. We'll see if our Risen Reef survives, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know much. I don't, I don't think negative 61 HP is where you want to be. <laughs> no, not quite. Please don't kill my Risen Reef. Just play a Tomb Bound Lich. Yeah, there you go. Play that. This Dracuseth. Uh, now I need to play Oketra. I wanted to play the double Leafkin Druid. But now I have to play Oketra. No, you cannot put the land from Reef into play untapped. Risen Reef always puts the lands tapped no matter what. So we could have paid two life to still play it untapped. No, our opponent from last game isn't in here. Unfortunately, they had a cool deck though. All right, time walk. Let's casting two mana time walks over there. We call that power nine. Saving Deputy of Detention for the Dracuseth. We're going to get hit by Dracuseth once. But then I need to be able to detain it. If they didn't kill the Leafkin Druid, we would have been able to finale for 10 the next turn. But they did kill Leafkin Druid. Alright, well, this 4 4 is going to die to the Tombbound Lich. Parappa, thanks for the host. Meow. Meow. What? Oh, uh, that's not good. That's not good at all. though that ritual of soot that killed me i 
I'm not dead on board. I have to just block with the Cavalier Thorns. So this could keep me alive with the vigilant with the vigilance reach. This keeps me alive. This keeps me alive. I'm gonna go deputy. I think that's the best choice of those. It's really unlikely the deputy survives considering they have Ascanta active for like, you know, this turn, next turn. I think it's my best choice here. Yay! No other sweeper. Oh yeah, no guard mage would not keep us alive. Yeah, I forgot the guard mage would be dying. Yeah, no, that would not be a, not be a one to keep us alive. All right, well, relying on deputy of detention against the deck with sweepers is probably not ideal. So I guess this seems like a pretty good settle matchup. I don't actually play White Finale. I know White Finale won me that game, but they're playing sweepers. All right, yeah, let's see you tomorrow. Don't love Teferi Time Raveler. It can bounce a Dracuseth, though, put it back in their hand kind of thing. Champion of the Wilds isn't... Amazing either, especially if I have a bunch of spells in here. Actually, we'll take out Champion of the Wilds. And a Time Raveler. Okay. All right, Risen Reef, find us white mana. Love it. Great draw. Allows us to, again, play the Leafkin Druid after the Reef. No, don't take my Reef. Take the Finale of Glory. All right, that one's fine. <clears throat> I'm never going to cast that thing. Never mind. Um, let's still go this route. Give our opponent a turn of not knowing our draw step. Really wouldn't be that bad to play, like, Time Raveler this turn. And then, like, that would let, like... That would let me be able to play Risen Reef and Leafkin Druid immediately back to back. No, I'm just going to go with this. Yeah. I certainly see that I've had. I think... 
I think the pod deck's a lot stronger than uh, I don't know about a lot. It's you know hard, to, but I think the pod deck's stronger than this version that they're playing now. Uh, the deck list is on here. It's in there somewhere. Look for team or, or look for Bant Vanifar from a few days ago. Um, talked about changes afterwards, like always, like I always do on the YouTube channel. So if you want to check out like the the YouTube channel and the uh, the video with it and do a changes. Of, recommend making and stuff to it also there. Responsibility. That's more like it. Yeah, right now, uh, for tomorrow, I think I was going to be doing Tier 1 Tuesday and playing some Tier 1 decks. I know definitely Vampires. I'm not sure exactly which else of the tier 1 decks to play there. Only time will tell. Um so That's kind of my plan there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I always have room for donation decks. So I'm two mana away from Finale of Glory, but if they have if they have another Ritual of Soot, I'm in a lot of trouble. It's just if they have a second ritual of set here, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. If they don't, I'm looking pretty great. So that's the game. Do they have ritual of set? Yes or no? If the answer is no, I win. If the answer is yes, I lose. Which I guess maybe I should have just blocked with the Risen Reef there. To not let them draw one more card. Alright, that's sweet. That's not... That's a really good sign of them not having... Ritual of Soot. Hey, I've had... Thanks for resubbing, too. I appreciate that. Sub number 17 on the day. We are actually really close to getting another sub goal, y'all. Only three subscribers away now. All right, let's let's do something sweet. X is ten. Can we do it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All 
All right, no ritual soot, please. We got 10 of these angels. Card's so ridiculous. Are you kidding me? 10? 4-4 four, four flying angels? It's so ridiculous. Okay, they're searching. Oh, they didn't auto tap very well. They tapped two black sources. So now they need black source and soot. We did it. Victory. All we did was just sit, play some mana creatures, sit around forever, and then play a finale, and then our opponent conceded. Should have kept Teferi alive. I don't I don't think we would have been able to keep... I'm not sure if we would have been able to keep Teferi alive and uh, have all the mana for that, honestly. May have been blocking with mana creatures. Or the... And the God Eternals could have maybe killed a mana creature then. I would have been blocking. I'll take it. Get turn three Oketra. And then turn four, double creature. That's all assuming my land werewolf doesn't die. Not a very good assumption. Boo. Yeah, bingo code is fixed. So it should work now. Elementals. Yeah. Definitely a viable Grixis deck right now. I, I played Grixis yesterday. I played like uh, the Grixis control deck that I really like yesterday. Um, yeah, you can find that video there on the YouTube channel. It has a link to the deck list. Um, or you can go to the stream decker and look for it from yesterday also. Yeah, I, I'll, I really like that deck list a lot. Okay, so if I... I think that's haste. Trust me. You'll thank me later. It's kind of a waste. This this Teferi is just not doing anything. Might be a bad idea. I will slow them down a little bit. Uh no, no attacks. Alright, so next turn we play Oketra, and then we have these two creatures to play after Oketra. But Oketra should be a pretty big card next turn say hi to my fiery friends hi fiery friend there's two of them which one is it this one or that one no a black creature with death touch cannot kill a creature that has protection from black no When a creature has protection from black, it, it receives zero damage from any black source. Nice, we can triple spell now. Make a bunch of 4-4s four next turn. Oh, did she say fiery friends? Well. Man, that Oketra came in like a shot through the heart. Let's binding. I don't want to play Teferi. So we're going to play a binding. And what else? Dawnbringer. And 
just a negate. Yeah, just have a negate chilling over here. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I agree. This deck, this deck is pretty decent, but yeah, it's it's not as fun as the the pod deck. I agree. I think it's a lower power level deck too. While we have like really big finale, which is cool, that's kind of what we got. But we're gonna have like hands that look like this that aren't so great. I don't know, Prison Realm Binding. Let's go do something. Yeah, that, the, I guess it turned out to be five color. That five color Legends deck looked really sweet. We played against. Okay, I got some Greta. Yeah, they at the end of that that second game they <clears throat> started playing. Hmm. Start playing the fifth color. All right, mana creature out of here. Mana cat. That's all we had to do. All right, that was a fast match. Yeah, I'm going to play Brawl when it comes out. Yeah. Brawl historic. Yep. What I'm what I think I'm going to be doing there Choco is I'm I'm planning on having like different um different little like for youtube only videos and decks i think like one each day you know like i don't know like what day but you know just for like an example here you know like monday would be like the brawl video like have a brawl deck and and you know have that up there on the youtube channel you know tuesday historic wednesday best of one um you know that kind of thing and uh Maybe make some uh, for YouTube only content, like where I still still have like my seven hour standard stream, but then maybe um, have like those kind of things. There's still there's definitely people that play best of one. No, we are playing Bant Midrange. It's the star next to the, the deck tells you which deck we're playing here. And so we are past the land destruction, Aristocrat, Stompy, and now we're on Bant Midrange. All the other decks are up on the YouTube channel already now. Land Destruction didn't do too well. It was just a turn too slow a lot of the time. But it's fun to play, though. But, uh, yeah, we were just a little too slow. Alright, so I'm just going to play the Time Waster. Let's slow this just waste down. some time, like, make my opponent, like, replay the Rekindling Phoenix and stuff. Instead of just... I guess I play this now. Instead of just, um... Prison Realming the Phoenix. Just kind of do this first. Get some tempo advantage. Boo. Let's see if you're worthy. Don't kill my Shalai. Feel the Boo. survive. You'll see. Let's try this. Not bad. Oh, I don't have double white now. For a mouse. I was I was planning on you know flashing in uh, finale of glory here. 
just get four tokens and kind of pressure that way. Don't worry, I got this. This is this is not a very good Arcbow Ranger deck, fortunately. Okay, like does this Yeah, I don't think so. Gotta have bigger creatures for Arcbow Ranger. Than what we got. White Finale or MOM? MOM, Mass Manipulation? No. What's MOM? March of the Multitudes. Oh, okay, March of Multitudes. If you show remorse, um, I'll show restraint. It depends I'll on the deck. You. March is going to be, you know, more effective in... Yeah, yeah, it basically kind of depends on the deck. We need more white sources. I don't think Jeskai Super Friends is too powerful compared to what other people are doing in the format. Not a big a big fan of the deck. Oh, right, how are we doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two more mana. Let's look for another like Leaf Kin Druid. Have you ever lost a oh. home? All sorts of mana. See you, mana. I like the opponent's deck, though. I like these kind of gruel cards. They're fun. Yeah, it's a lot easier just to say March than MOM. I then said March of the Multitudes being MOM. Yeah, just saying March. I would I would have had I would have known what you were talking about. Would have picked it up. All right, that's one creature. That's one. Should I minus? So that's, I yeah, that's so three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, so we're still one mana away. I could minus the Vivian and just look for a mana creature. To try to do it next turn, but I guess we're not really in any rush. Our opponent's not going anywhere fast. Let me show you what was lost. We're going to be winning this. Likely. Unless something crazy happens. We 
can handle four growth chamber guardians. Yeah, I'll be using... Yep, I'll just be playing Land War Elf and using Shalai's ability. And then if we draw the land... If we draw a land, then we get to finale. If not, we'll have to look for a mana creature, wait till next turn. All right, we're doing it. Trust me, I have a plan. Tear it down, tear it all down. The best cat name I've ever heard, Hawkeye. It's the best one. Best one. But yeah. Everybody in chat, you can say what's what's your favorite cat name or pet name or just yeah, pet name. Yeah, you, know, you can say like dog named you know whatever. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. My cat's name was Beef. <laughs> she smelled bad. TT, like thing in the ice. A cat named He Man. <laughs> That's a good one. Mr. Duke. Dog is named Roland of Gilead. I like it. Leonidas. That's a good cat name. go. I was like, oh, I don't even know how to block this. Hopefully my opponent just concedes. Okay, there we go. Scorpion's name is Poo Poo Magoo. I guess Settle's not so good against the uh, Breaker of Spells. Revere for the Boston Terrier. Dog's name is Meatball. Dog named Buster. Dog named Groot. Okay. Caesar. Pretty Purr. It's a good cat name. Piero. Beard Doggo. Dog's name is Kane after the WWE Superstar. Some good pet names. Let's mm. kind of keep it the same. No, I'm gonna take out. Let's take out an Arcbow Ranger. Get a Lyra in here. I want to play a couple of the gates for like the Planeswalkers. Oh, just the one negate. We'll just get him with that one negate. We don't need a second one. Pitbull's name is Diesel. Moby Cat. <laughs> Bobby. That's a good dog name. Bobby. Get over here, Bobby. All right, got a cat named, had one named Burke, or Brick, I guess Brick, and now Bruno. Your cat's name is Gandalf. That's a good cat name. 
Yeah, my, my two dogs, of course, are we have Puppy and Harvey is my other dog's name. Named after uh, one of the main characters of, of the show Suits. There, if any of y'all like that show. That's what Harvey's named after. Um... Nah, let's get rid of this thing. Yeah, from Harvey Specter. Yep. Cats are Lois, Lois and Felicity, or is it Lewis? I guess and Felicity. Ugh. Felicity from Archer. That's a good cat name. No, you could do it for any any pet. Your dog's name is Get Back Here. <laughs> All right. Well, unfortunately, Donald over here is shutting off my Exelon's binding. Donald. Sit back and watch it burn. Yeah, Donald. Your black cat's name is Wednesday. Okay. Babu from Archer. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Polo. And no, I don't have any plan for the Chandra right now. I don't think I have Deputy in my deck. I don't think I do. I'm not sure. Did I get rid of like a Vivian Champion of Wilds earlier? No, I didn't. I got rid of the negate. This is just gonna be bad for you. A six pound terrier named Shaq. So I could just finale for three. Do y'all remember if I have Deputy of Detention still in my deck or not? Could finale for three and look for Deputy to Chandra. And I guess if we don't find it, we just we just get a Risen Reef. I guess that's the thing to do. Hopefully Deputy. Deputy. Darn it. No deputy. Nope, it's not in my deck. I guess I sideboarded it out. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Let's kick this madness into high gear. Oh, I should have pulled the reef from the graveyard. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah, I could have just done that. There'll be nothing but dust when I'm done. That's a good call.
All right, Teferi out, Deputy in. Run it back. Two cats when I was younger. They're named. Ugh. That's probably Jimmy. Jimmy is probably the jerk. Okay, you want to come up here? Yeah. We're talking about a bunch of pets. A bunch of cool pet names. I kind of like this hand. I think I like this six than a random five. Not the ideal draw. Cavalier of Thorns is not a bad one, though. You know, like going with the Cavalier next turn. Ramps us. Ah, uh, green finale is gone. This hand worked out. Light it up. See you, Phoenix. Get on out of here. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. <laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? I have ten mana next turn. This is just gonna be bad for you. Hmm. So grab green finale, but it's only X equals eight. Or I grab the, or I just grab the prison realm that gets rid of the Chandra. Probably just grab the prison realm that gets rid of the Chandra. That's probably the smartest thing to do. Her Jean with the Twitch Prime sub. 
Welcome to the channel, Herjean. Thank you so much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or I could just attack and kill the Chandra. All right, we're going to minus two this so they don't get to just kill my Vivian. The mysteries of life are well, endless. good minus two anyway. Get rid of all those lands I don't want. We're going to exile this thing. Uh, scry that to the bottom. Sub number 18. Y'all, we are so close to another sub goal. Whoops. Only two subscribers away now. And now all of y'all will attack Chandra there. And so I go down to 12. Well, that was but they're, they're down to just like these two cards in hand. We got, you know, like we're ahead here on the battlefield. So we'll see what they got there. Ooh, a Vivian. How this I like that card. Is up to you, pal. There is wonder in a blade of grass. We just scryed a lot, you know, like we put basically put three lands to the bottom. Scry the negate to the bottom also. Hopefully we're drawing something sweet now. Darn. Do they have a creature to flash in? See, <clears throat> it also looks like we have a creature over here on our opponent's side. You know, we have this hallowed fountain that's over here. Yeah, not having Krasis. Yeah, it does certainly lower the power level of our deck, not having a card like Krasis. No, we have we have no Nissas or Krasises or anything like that. Our best top decks are Risen Reef into more Risen Reefs. And get a whole bunch of mana. And then find a finale. Yeah, Risen <gasps> Risen Reefs are our card. Dead yet. So it could have been a negate that I was just drawing that turn. I could have drawn a negate that I just put to the bottom. I don't think I'd rather have negate and then draw land next turn. Attack even makes sense. No. If we do draw a Leaf Kin Druid, I'll be holding it in hand for Risen Reef, but hopefully we just start finding some Reefs. We haven't seen any yet. We're down 20 cards. Plus the six we know at the bottom. So we're down 26 cards and haven't seen a Risen Reef yet. So they got to be coming up here pretty soon. There's only 34 we don't know about. Thirty-three. So four out of thirty-three chance. That's land number 12. That's mana number 12. So if we top deck our other white finale, we know we have one white finale down at the bottom. We draw the other one. All right, four out of 32 now. 
which is a 12.5% chance. We have a 12.5% chance, perc chance of drawing a Risen Reef. Bunch of lands out the bottom. 13. We've seen 13 of 13 of the 24 lands out of 28 cards, which is a little bit more than half, but not like egregiously more than half. But we're dead now. Those is it three out of four or four out of five draws with the Ixalan's binding and then lands? If you count from the Vivian minus, GG. I mean, I can block with this to stay alive. count from the Vivian minus like those three lands then negate and then three or four more lands with Ixalan's binding a lot of bad cards in a row there yeah these have trample they just pay one mana to give them trample but obviously it doesn't matter there yeah, my opponent brought in Cinder Vines to destroy enchantment because we played so much enchantment removal in the first few games. So it makes sense. Be afraid, wizard. I hope I sounded tough. All right, so I ended up 2 2 with our Bant mid range deck. Um. Yeah, and just like I've had the person that, that made this deck was saying that they've been having more or like enjoying the pod version more. I, I'd have to agree. This deck felt pretty underpowered as far as Bant decks can go. You know, not having Nyssa, Krasis, things like that. Um, the Vivians and the Teferis, honestly, in this in this specific deck, how these cards, like with, with a bunch of like smaller creatures like this, these Vivians and the Teferis, these just weren't very good cards. And like they're they're like the cards that we really need to be like the draw engine. Like if if those cards are like Nissa Krasis, we're doing better. Um, but I I liked the the other version that we had before. Um, this Bant Vanifar that we played a few days ago. This deck was really cool because this deck did a really good job of get, getting Risen Reef putting into play, copying Risen Reef. You know, it has the Neoform to put him into play. It has the Vanifar to go put him into play. I liked this this version a lot better. And then, uh, and so we could really go through the deck a lot more and just have so much card advantage that we just overwhelm our opponent. Like, I wouldn't mind, like, the, the Time Ravelers aren't really that great in here. I wouldn't mind, like, the Time Ravelers being some white finales. I think that's, I I did really like the white finales in the other deck. Like, maybe the Time Ravelers just be white finales. Because uh, this, this deck did a lot better job of ramping with the like how it got more Risen Reefs a lot faster. Um, but <laughs> I watch every one of your videos, and 75% or 70 of the times you have to top deck, you get a land. Is that a superpower? <laughs> nope. That's just kind of how... That's how it's been going for me recently. I've been having the luck recently, but it happens. Um, hey, what's up, Paul? So there we go. So that, that could be something cool to do with, with the Vanifar deck here. Um, so yeah, that's... Yeah, so yeah, maybe try that, I've had, if you're thinking you need more payoffs. Uh, but there we go. That's Bant Midrange. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck. Uh, and if, also try, try out this Vanifar deck and, you know, Go find this this video from a few days ago. This deck was really cool. Um, but there we go. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons on YouTube. It'll make Hawkeye happy. Right, Hawkeye?
Okay, we're. <laughs> but thank you so much for for watching uh, Bant Midrange here, and I will see you for the next video. I have to stop recording. Okay. Yeah.